This is the Bristol's house. They asked me if I could stop by and talk about a monitored home security system. But I'll tell you what. I'm going to see if I can add on ESL photoelectric system smoke detectors, too. Because I've been doing a little research. Yeah, thanks to me. Uh, who? Your intuition. The inspiration that got you to add a monitored smoke detection system to your sales presentation in the first place. Especially after we found out that retention rates increase by up to 50% when homeowners have a monitored smoke detection system installed along with their security system. Yeah, right. Now just rely on me and your research and you'll do great. Hi, I'm Bill Collins. So you called about a home security system? Oh, hi. Come on in. Which means that the monitoring center will be automatically notified. And then they call the police after they verify there's a need. But let me ask you this. Did you know that your home is 10 times more likely to have a fire than to be burglarized? Really? Yeah, that's the national average. So if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about why it makes sense to add a monitored smoke detector system to the security system that you're going to install. Our photoelectric smoke detector system immediately calls for help when smoke is detected, so you can be sure of a quick response, even when you're not home. And I'll bet you'd like to have that kind of protection for your home and your family. Sure, but we've already got smoke detectors all over the house. I love this part. This is where that research about the two types of detectors is going to come in very handy. I knew that. Why don't we go take a look at these smoke detectors that you already have right now? Oh, sure. We've got one right in the hall. It's right up here. OK, you've got ionization smoke alarms. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing as far as they go. Ionization detectors are fine for detecting flaming fires, and our company sells those as well. But we recommend a different kind for homes, the photoelectric kind. That's because most home fires begin as smoldering fires due to the kinds of materials normally found in homes, like furniture, carpets, and mattresses. And those are exactly the kinds of home fires that photoelectric smoke detectors have been designed to detect. In fact, according to a National Fire Protection Association Journal article, photoelectrics responded more than an hour before an ionization device in the presence of a smoldering fire. The difference in those response times to smoldering fires is very important. And the National Center of Health Statistics points out that 72% of all fire deaths occur from smoke inhalation, not the fire itself. I'm curious, why are the photoelectric detectors so much more sensitive to smoke from smoldering fires? Well, generally, when the large particles associated with smoldering fires enter the photoelectric device, they scatter a beam of light onto a sensor, setting off an alarm. Ionization detectors use a small radioactive sensor that works better with the smaller, less visible particles of smoke that are associated with flaming fires. And remember, a monitored smoke detector system sounds an alarm that can be heard throughout the house, increasing the chances that you'll be alerted to a fire no matter where it might start. Standalone battery-operated detectors like yours, which most people have in their homes now, go off separately. So you might not know about a fire until after it's spread. Isn't this where somebody always brings up a question about... False alarms. We get a lot of them. In fact, I've had to take the batteries out of a couple of these detectors just to keep them from going off all the time. Well, that's another good reason to use a professionally installed detector. Photoelectric detectors are much less susceptible to cooking fumes and humidity and other false alarm sources. Placement is important for preventing false alarms, too, and for ensuring that you're getting the best possible protection. Well, okay, that's fine, but um, how much is that going to cost? There is a charge for each detector, but many insurance companies offer discounts on their homeowner's policies for houses that have monitored fire alarm systems installed. Okay, so then what do you think would be right for us? Well, the National Fire Alarm Code recommends that for all new homes, smoke detectors be placed inside each bedroom and outside each sleeping area in the vicinity of each bedroom and on each additional story of the house, including basements. Are there other options? Yes, as a minimum for existing homes, the code recommends a detector on each floor while making sure at least one is outside the sleeping area. At the very least, you could install one monitored photoelectric detector to supplement your existing devices, 
but local ordinances may require more. So there's really a wide range of choices depending on how much protection you feel you want. And the cost isn't really that much when you consider the importance of who and what you're protecting with an early warning monitored system that calls for help immediately, whether you're home or away, and can be heard throughout the house. Well, I think we're going to take the best. Well, good job. Even if we do say so ourselves. Hey, couldn't have done it without you. <laughs>